myself. Uh, my name is Shugo Maeda. Uh, I'm one of Ruby committers. Uh, I have introduced some bad features into Ruby, such as continuation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, does anybody use it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> to use uh, in object-oriented language such as Ruby. Uh, I'm also a director of Network Applied Communication Laboratory. Uh, it is a company for which uh, Matt works. I'm making money for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also the co-chairperson of the Ruby Association. Uh, the Ruby Association is an organization uh, which is dedicated to uh, development and promotion of Ruby. I'm from Matsue, Shimane, Japan. Uh, Matsue is a sister city of New Orleans. <laughs> so, they are different. <laughs>
TLU. Who yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the language uh, from which uh, Ruby declared out K? This is an example of uh, LSP. This example defines a, name, uh, a method named print name. This method takes one argument and uh, the name attribute of that argument. And uh, this example creates an instance of person and uh, involves print name on that instance. Then uh, this program creates an instance of employee class, uh, which is a subclass of person. If you pass this instance to print name, it will also work. This is an example of a typical SP violation. This program uh, defines a class called rectangle and, and creates a subclass of that class called square. Uh, square overrides method with equal and height equal. Uh, these two methods uh, both, uh, uh, both an area for set size, uh, set size set uh, width and height to the same value. Then uh, this program defines a global function set size and this function set width to 80 and height to 60. But uh, if you pass an instance of a square to this method, uh, set size method cannot set width to 80. It's because uh, if rect.height equals 60 is evaluated, uh, width is also set to uh, 60. Obviously, this is not unexpected, un unexpected, unexpected, <laughs> unexpected behavior for uh, set size method. Uh, uh, this example is, uh, can also happen in Java. The interface of square is the same as rectangle, but uh, behavior, behavior of set size is not uh, compatible. This is a Ruby specific, Ruby specific uh, LSP violation. Uh, Ruby has undev, <coughs> so uh, if you undev the name attribute, uh, the method print name uh, will be broken. In Ruby, uh, subclassing is not subtyping. Uh, subtyping means uh, interface inheritance, but uh, there is no interface in inheritance in Ruby. Uh, Ruby supports duct typing, so uh, <coughs> subclassing is not uh, important for interfaces. The next way is mixing. Uh, mixing is a feature uh, which came from uh, some kind of list. But uh, as far as I know, uh, Ruby is the first language which supports mixing as a language feature. Ruby's mixing provides limited multiple inheritance. Only modules can be multiply inherited, and a module has no instances. Module are, modules are also used as namespaces for constants. The third way is symptom method. Uh, you can uh, define methods on uh, a particular object. <coughs> This example uh, defines uh, the method design Ruby to map uh, 
but uh, you cannot invoke this method uh, on other party, uh, other people. <laughs> By singleton method, uh, client over class can extend the behavior of an instance of the class. This is uh, very important. A singleton method defines the behavior of only one particular instance. Uh, but uh, some objects cannot have singleton method. For example, uh, instances of integer cannot have singleton method. The last way is open classes. Uh, this example reopens person and add code. By open classes, uh, clients of a class can extend the behavior of instance in of the class. And uh, classes are extended globally. There are some applications of open classes. I think Ruby on Rails is a good example of monkey patching. Uh, Ruby, is, uh, Ruby on Rails is a very successful project. So I'm there for <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's not because of his new car. Uh, it's because of active support. Uh, DHS can extend it Ruby without permissions from Mac. Uh, I know I can also do the same, but uh, I have no users, so, uh, <laughs> so I have to persuade him. And uh, I'm trying it now. Uh, Rails has also, plugin system. Uh, plugins extend framework classes by monkey patching. Uh, plugins are using alias to call original method. Using uh, alias method chain. Uh, they call and must end is uh, uh, both uh, Ruby standard library. They code as a refined method of swing for Japanese character handling. Uh, J code is now uh, useless because uh, Ruby 1.9 supports multilingualization. <laughs> Mathem provides mathematically natural operations on numbers. Uh, they are both bad examples of monkey patching, I think. Please remember LST again. Uh, please uh, substitute subtype if uh, plus after reopen and uh, substitute super type if plus before reopen. So instance of a class after reopen must behave like instances of the class before the reopen. This is an example of a uh, LST violation. Uh, in Ruby, uh, slash means uh, integral division, so uh, it returns uh, integer. But if you require mass n, uh, it returns uh, rational numbers. Uh, they are not compatible, so uh, if you require mass n, uh, existing code will be broken. Summary. Uh, Subclassing and mixing are uh, not perform performed by client. Singleton <coughs> uh, methods can be performed by client, but uh, they are per object. Open classes are uh, also performed by client, but uh, it's global. So, uh, what's the problem? Uh, Subclassing, mixing, and um, symptom methods are less extensible. And open classes are less modular. Uh, extensibility and modularity are very important, very important in software construction. So, uh, we have to solve this problem. 
So uh, what we need is a uh, block extension. Uh, it can be performed by client and works for uh, works for graph and uh, which is local. There are two possible solutions, uh, telecom namespace and graph boxes. Selector uh, namespace is a feature which is implemented in small script and DCMS script 4. Uh, small script is an uh, implementation of small talk on .NET framework. Uh, ECM script is uh, well known as JavaScript, uh, but uh, ECM script 4 is uh, the abandoned version. Uh, the previous version of ECM script was uh, version 3, and uh, now it's version 4, uh, but version 5. Uh, ECM script 4 is uh, very large and uh, It fails. <coughs> uh, Selection name space is a name space of method name. Uh, in small talk, method names are called selectors, so uh, it is called selector name space. A name space can be imported into other name spaces. And uh, it's important that uh, selector name space is registry stored. And uh, class boxes are uh, implemented in script and Java. Uh, script is also an implementation of small talk. And a class box is a module uh, where classes are defined and or extended. Uh, here, uh, a module is not a Ruby module. A class box can be imported into other class boxes. The difference between selector name space and class box is uh, uh, that uh, class box is uh, dynamically scoped. It is called local rebinding. This is an example of class box J. Uh, it defines the class foo in package foo and Bar is a class box, and in bar, uh, it will find foo and other method bar. Then, in package bar, bar uh, <coughs> the class box bar is imported, uh, where uh, you can invoke bar in uh, bar on an instance of foo. This is an example of local rebinding. Uh, it's very hard to explain in English. <laughs> <laughs> Please look up for uh, <laughs> In the call bar, uh, the method bar is involved. And uh, if you import a class box bar, uh, bar will be overridden. So uh, if you invoke call bar, uh, in this example, uh, it prints define. But uh, if uh, it is select a name space, it prints original. So if local rebinding needed, uh, I doubt it. Uh, because local rebinding is less modular. Polys uh, might expect the original behavior, so uh, it might be broken. And uh, please remember the history of local variable scoping. Uh, 
Do you know any popular language which supports dynamic scoping? Common Lisp. Hmm? Common Lisp. Common Lisp? <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but uh, by default, it's lexical scope. Right? Mm -hmm. um, I know, I know only one language, uh, which is Emacs Lisp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, single methods and open classes can be alternatives in Ruby. However, effective scopes are different, so uh, it might be uh, difficult to use than class box list. So uh, I would like to uh, propose a new feature for refinement. This is a newly implemented feature of Ruby, but uh, it is not yet modeled into the official Ruby repository. It's only in my uh, private repository. Uh, refinements of classes are defined per module, and effective scopes are explicitly specified. And there is no local rebinding. And the syntax of refinements are similar to class box create. Uh, this is an example of refinement. Uh, this example defines a module mask n and uh, call refine method on mask n. <coughs> And uh, define, uh, define uh, fix now and uh, modify uh, the slash method. You have to call using to use uh, this refinement. <coughs> uh, in, the, uh, in this example, uh, in the class foo, the slash method is uh, overridden, but uh, outside the class, uh, the behavior of the method is uh, the original one. Uh, I'd like to show you a uh, short demonstration. Definition of refinement. Uh, refinement is a method, so uh, you can call it in blocks. Box is it prints uh, rational numbers, but uh, this refinement 
Replicator is going to show uh, this print integer. I added the method defined to the module class. The module class is a class of a module. Uh, define takes one argument and uh, takes one block. Uh, additional or overriding method of class uh, defined in block. A set of such methods is called a refinement. Refinements are activated only in the receiver module and scopes where the module is imported by using. Refine can also be invoked on classes. So uh, you, can, you can write like this. And uh, I added kernel building. Uh, using takes one argument. And, and using imports refinement defined in that argument. Refinements are activated only in a file module class for methods where using is involved. It is basically scope. Uh, this is an example. <coughs> I also added module using. Uh, module using overrides kernel using. The basic behavior is the same, but uh, besides, module using supports reopen and inheritance. This is an example of module using. You are using A in the class group. Uh, <coughs> it is available in the open definition. And uh, if you create a subclass of who, uh, A is uh, also available in uh, bus. Uh, using and uh, include uh, Independent features. So, uh, if you include module, uh, it does not activate refinement. Uh, Restants of refinement are very complex. So, uh, I would I would like to skip. <laughs> <laughs> this is an example. Uh, in this example, uh, if you invoke uh, some method on an instance of QUUX, uh, the method is searched uh, first uh, in cooks and next bus and next bus and finally uh, searched in food. Make sense? Uh, you can use original features from refinement. Uh, super in a refined method invokes the original method, if any. If there is a method with the same name in previously imported refinement, super invokes the method. In a refined method, constants and class variables in the original class is also accessible. This is an example. And uh, refinements are supported in special labor. Uh, refinements are also activated in instance labor, module labor, and class labor. This is an example. Uh, if you you are using math n in the class group. Uh, math n is activated in uh, class evil and uh, instance evil. Uh, how about compatibility? Uh, Ruby is, uh, Ruby is uh, so powerful that uh, I do not 
us to add new keywords. So uh, basically, the behavior of code wizard requirements never change. But uh, there are some exceptions. Uh, if the existing code has a method name defined or using, it may cause some problems. I would like to show you some applications of refinement. Uh, refinements are used for replaying classes because refinements are activated in particular scopes. So, scope, so uh, it's uh, more, uh, it's modular. So you can violate LSP like mass n because uh, it is basically scope, so uh, exit <coughs> code uh, will not broken. It will not be broken. And uh, refinement inheritance is used for frameworks. This is an example. Uh, currently, uh, active support is uh, activated globally, but uh, if you use uh, refinement, uh, you can uh, no, you can uh, limit the scope uh, where active support support is available. And uh, refinements can be useful for internal DSL. Uh, methods for DSL need not be available outside DSL. So uh, these methods can be defined in refinements. Instance evil and module evil are useful for DSL. This is an example. Uh, this uh, looks like RSpec. Uh, I, I don't like RSpec uh, because uh, it, it's modified uh, target code for testing. Uh, I, uh, I think it's better not to do it. So uh, if, uh, if uh, you use refinement, uh, for example, the method should is only available in the block which is uh, passed to it method. Refinements uh, also apply to nested methods. Uh, currently, uh, nested methods in Ruby are not useful because uh, nested, nested methods are defined outside the method. And uh, I modified it, and uh, in my implementation, uh, inner method is defined in a refinement, uh, which are only activated in this method. Uh, I executed benchmark script uh, five times. Uh, main, main benchmark is uh, bundled, with, bundled with the source code of Ruby. And uh, I added some benchmark scripts for refinement and um, nested method. This is an example of uh, <coughs> benchmark script. Uh, if using this define, if you uh, refinement, but uh, otherwise, uh, if you use monkey patching. <coughs> the result is uh, at least 2.5% slower than the original movie. These are samples from benchmark script. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, Luke's times is faster than the original Ruby. <laughs> 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 it may be measuring errors, but uh, I have modified the v VM, uh, so uh, some magic might happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have not investigated yet. Uh, and uh, 
wireless and poly method and super uh, slower. Uh, I think uh, they are reasonable. Uh, there are some considerations. Currently, uh, include and um, using uh, independent, but uh, they may be, uh, should they be integrated? Uh, I wonder whether they should be integrated. But, uh, there is a workaround. Uh, you can use a hook method. Uh, so, uh, if you define the method U, uh, you can uh, invoke it from using. So, uh, if you include in use method, uh, you can provide both features at the same time. And currently, single methods cannot be refined. <coughs> But uh, there is also a bus workaround. Uh, <coughs> you can refine Simpson plus. <coughs> and uh, currently, the argument of refine should be a plus. Uh, you cannot uh, refine module. But uh, you can refine a plus which includes the module. Finally, uh, implementation may need more improvement, but uh, it's not my work. <laughs> I guess uh, for each time we do it. <laughs> uh, my patch is available here. Conclusion, uh, refinement achieves a good balance between extensibility and modularity. That's all for my presentation. Thank you. Yeah, has there been any uh, determination, uh, is a decision that this will not make it into main Ruby, or if, uh, if that decision has yet been made, whether has it been proposed for main Ruby? add a uh, reflection, a way to reflect on which uh, class boxes are active at any, at any point. Can you go back to your, your URL slide so people can see that? Just maybe leave it there. Um, can you can you discuss the reasons either to or to not merge include with using? To make them either the, the, the reasons to keep them separate or the reasons to put them together? Uh, I, I think they are very different features. So uh, I wonder whether they should be include, uh, integrated. Uh, using uh, affects to scores, uh, not uh, on receiver. Uh, it's a uh, very important difference. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, um, so uh, what happens <coughs> with inheritance? It seems like you're creating an so what happens if I override method foo and call super in a class? Will I end up in the foo of the super class of, of the class I was refining? Or will I end up in the original method? Could you say it again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you 
right for the key? <laughs> uh, so if I refine a class. to do using here or do yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. to simulate something under the debugger mm -hmm. and your visibility is lexically scoped, how can you access the lexically scoped modifications um, in order to uh, properly debug? Or test? Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> since, since the, um, the, the refinements are based on the Instance of module about could you just use instance of all for the instance that you wanted the requirements to be in in order to get their requirements requirements for it in the scope at that time. <laughs> I, we don't still get it. <laughs> <laughs> Go write it out. <laughs> Does anyone else understand, understand that question? Let's <laughs> <laughs> we ask it. We'll, we'll let Nick ask it here. I trust that you will solve this issue. I think that you were asked, your question. 
question was sort of asking for clarification about the last thing, the last question, right? Yeah. So, like, if you have a like scope scope uh, refinement and you want to test something about it, you can use instance eval to access the refinement from the test. Ah, yeah, you can do it. He says it doesn't work well. <laughs> Is uh, definitely dead in Ruby, or are they still being considered? Uh, you mean local binding? Have we rejected class boxes for refinements, uh, or are they both still viable? Yeah, we gave up the we gave up local rebinding, so we 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 will not have that that class box. Okay. Oh, thank you.